So Mark, we're in this amazing garden area of the greenhouse and- It's my favorite greenhouse. It's it got all the vegetables in it, you know. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's, it's just, it, it's really incredible uh, seeing all the different vegetables you can grow in your garden. And we have lots of questions about gardens. And you so got I'm it. gonna start out with a question from Stephanie. She asks, what's the best way to get rid of weeds besides pulling them without killing all the vegetation. You know, I have three different hoes at home that I that I use that are different shapes and are good for different things. And so I do a lot of manual extraction. Mm. And when I'm like weeding my carrots, I have to get down in there and pull those pull those weeds out. So yes, there's still a lot of, you know, good old fashioned weed pulling that has to go on. But, uh, you know, last year, for example, I had some puncture vine get into part of my garden. Oh. The puncture vines, it's got those big nasty they thorns. Hurt. And they they hurt your foot. They'll go right through your your uh, flip flop, or they'll pop your uh -huh. your bicycle tires. Yes. And so I need to get a little bit more aggressive with those because you pull them up, but the roots don't come out, uh -huh. and then that just like comes right back. What if you What if you get that much of the root? Do you have to get the very end? You got to get all of it because uh -huh. it'll that root system will just come right back. And I had some morning glory that got in there, which is kind of the same way, yeah. and some mallow. And so one section of the garden just had some weeds that snuck in because it kept raining last July. I don't know what happened. You know, it's like it never rains in July. And so I took a product that's called decimate okay. and the decimate you can be very strategic with you can oh. be almost surgical with it and you can spray this weed but if you've got a plant right next to it as long as it doesn't drift over on that plant uh -huh. it will it, it won't hurt it okay. and so it has to go in through the green leafy part of the plant so sometimes i'll even take like a little piece of cardboard uh -huh. and i'll put it between the plants that i want to kill uh -huh and the plants that I want to keep. Okay. And you can spray right up to it and you can kill everything on this side of the cardboard, but it won't bother the stuff on the other side. Mm -hmm. And the decimate biodegrades in 24 hours. So oh. 24 hours after you've used it, it's completely gone out of the soil. So you don't have to, you don't have to like worry about it. But it's gone it. into all those roots. And it'll go down in and kill the root system out. So it killed my puncture vine, my morning glory, and my mallow just like in two days. I need yeah. some of that. Yeah, it's it's awesome <laughs> stuff. So, yeah. but I still I still do a lot of you know hand hand weeding. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you can't use herbicides throughout your entire garden without usually damaging something. Right. Yeah. And we have so many questions. Like numerous questions came in about how do we protect our gardens from the critters, and lot, including deer. Lo lots of lots of bugs, and and like last year was like the worst grasshopper season that we've oh. ever seen. Like more grasshoppers than I've seen in, you know, my entire lifetime. Right. It was like a, a once in a hundred year type grasshopper The ground situation. moved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we might see a little bit of that again this year because yeah. the grasshoppers will have laid lots and lots and lots of eggs. There's some really great products you can use in your vegetable garden, in your flower beds, in your lawn, in your garden area. Seven is one that's safe to use in your vegetables. Okay. And you can use it up to the day before you're going to harvest on most of your vegetables. Like say you've got grasshoppers nibbling on your raspberries. Mm -hmm. You can spray this and kill the grasshoppers. And a day after you've sprayed, you're safe to pick the raspberries, rinse them off. You spray over top of the raspberries. Over the top of the raspberries. Because okay. if you don't, the grasshoppers are gonna just keep like exactly. nibbling. Right. And so you can use this right up to the day before you harvest and it's gonna kill the grasshoppers, but then you can harvest the, the fruit and then rinse it, make sure you wash it off. Okay. And then you're safe to use the raspberries afterwards. Would this also deter birds? Uh, won't work on birds, okay. just just insects. Is there something for birds? Because we don't wanna kill the yeah. birds. We don't wanna kill the birds, no. no, no. And so for birds, netting works really well. Okay. There's actually a couple repellents that work well. And I was, I was gonna mention, there's, there's repellents for the insects as well too. So like last year, the grasshoppers had gotten out of control in my garden before I was able to do any Thing. And so I sprayed with the seven, knocked all the grasshoppers down, and then I put a repellent down, which is made because the other ones are just going to come back. Yeah, in. they're going to come right back in. And so I put a repellent down, which is made from cedar oil, so it's got essential oh. oils in it that smells. It smells wonderful. Oh. But you apply that, and the grasshoppers become very uncomfortable. It makes it so they can't breathe very well, and they leave and they go somewhere else. And so there's there's ways to repel the insects so they don't come right back into your yard. They'll actually go to your neighbor's house instead. I'm yeah. good with that. Yeah, we want, we, want to go to your, we want to go to your neighbor's house instead. So the seven works well. There's repellents for the birds. Okay. Uh, I've got some scare tape that works actually really well. You hang the tape up, and as the wind blows, the tape moves, and it's it's reflective, and it scares the birds. It kind of incites their natural flight instinct, and they fly away because they think there's a predator there. Yeah, and so that actually works really quite well. Seems like a very safe way to do it. Yeah. Is that why people use the spinners? The spinners, yep. The spinners are made okay. to scare the birds away. Yeah, yeah. and then like the netting is what I use for my deer. Because okay. I have deer in my backyard 
every single day. So they just like come to the Anderson buffet, you know, every day, they have a little snack and then, and then they move on and say, oh, let's go back to the buffet. That was really good, you know? And so I have to fence my entire garden. Wow. So I've got a seven and a half foot fence around my garden and it keeps the deer out very well. I've had them crawl underneath the fence before, mm -hmm. but they've never jumped over. Yeah, they've never they've never really? jumped over. Yeah, but out in the out in the flower beds, you know, say you've got tulips coming up in the springtime, yeah. the deer love the tulips, but you don't want to fence those. And so I've got some sprays that work really well too. So we've got Deer Stopper is one of our partners that that we work with. Oh. And they have a lot of really great repellent products, but this one's actually very effective on the deer. Okay. And it's not like offensive to people mm -hmm. because some of the repellents like smell so bad that it oh, repels yeah. people as yeah. well as the deer. We but the deer stopper. I need some of that. Yeah, the deer, the deer <laughs> stop. Yeah, exactly. The deer stopper actually has essential oils in there as well too that makes the plants smell and taste like things that the deer don't like to eat. Uh -huh. And so it makes them think that that beautiful tulip tastes more and smells more like mint or rosemary that they oh, don't like to yeah, eat. Yeah. yeah, and so they go, oh, I love tulips. And they go, oh, wait a minute, that doesn't smell like a tulip. It smells like ro rosemary and mint. Mm -hmm. And then they maybe lick it. They go, oh, it does taste like rosemary and mint I'll, and I'll go somewhere else. So it actually works really Would quite well. Would this do with voles and mice? And This product, no, but there are other products that they have, same company, Messina's, that work on voles and work on mice and work on dogs and oh, work on cats. Yeah, and so there's, they have lots of repellent products. One is for birds also. So and you have to do birds. this how often? Oh, it really, question. yeah, it really lasts about three to four weeks. And so Yay. you can almost get a month's worth of control out of it. And it works no matter if the temperatures are cold or if they're hot and it will adhere even if it snows or if it rains. Yeah, so you won't have any problems that way. So. Good, love that.